Hey everybody, Charlie Weiser here from EasyPiano.com. Well, this is it. This is day four in our series and everything comes to an end today. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take what we've learned how to play so far and we're gonna move it to a different key. So this concept is called transposing. So I'm gonna show you how to transpose. Like I said, you're not gonna be able to transpose everything, but you will be able to start transposing things that you start learning to play from here on out. So anyway, let's go ahead and not waste any time and get the party started right now. So today is it, our final day. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teach you how to play the same blues that we've been playing, the, uh, the pop and the rock. And, uh, you know, we're going to do it in the key of F. All right. So here's the scoop. Let me go ahead and play this for you in the key of F. I'll do the first one that we did, and then uh, I'll break it down, you know, explain the key to you, and then I'll teach you how to do it. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you can see it's uh it's a little bit lower sounding and um here's what happens. And when we did it in the key of C, you remember we did this when we started, we went do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay? That told us that we were in the key of C, so we had all white keys. What I'm actually going to do is this. If we take this C here, which is middle C and go to the first F lower right here, and you remember F was right by the set of three black keys. So if we take that and we play a do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Oh, boy, that doesn't work there. Okay, so now this actually tells us something. This tells us that this note here is not going to be in the key of F. All right, so let's try it again. There we go. Okay, so that's my do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do starting in F. And the reason I did this at first is because that way you can actually hear it. You know what it's supposed to sound like, right? So we know that the key, the, uh, key of B here this, uh, is not in the key of F, all right? So instead of F having a B, it actually has what's called a B flat. So B flat is the first key that's down from the B or to the left of B, all right? So again, the notes are F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F. Okay? Now, you remember when we played our chords, we played the 1, the 4, and the 5 chords, right? So let's go through and let's number our tones in the key of F. So this is 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have one again. And the concept's still the same. When we form our chords, we do every other note. So what we notice now is that in the key of F, the one chord is actually going to be the F chord. Okay, so this is the same chord that we played in the key of C, except now it has a different function. It's located in a different spot. So it's our one chord. Okay, if we go to the four chord, starting the fourth note, one, two, three, four, we end up on the B flat. All right, so all we're going to do for the B flat chord is every other key. So it's going to be B flat, it's going to be D, and F. That's my four chord, because it starts on the fourth note. All right? The five chord, go back to our scale, one, two, three, four, five. So the five chord starts on C, every other key. So the five chord is a C chord. All right. So in the key of F, we have the one chord, which is the F chord. We have the four chord, which is the B flat chord. 
And we have the five chord, which is the C chord. Okay. So what's going to happen is our format's going to be exactly the same as it was before in the key of C. So we're going to start and play the F four times, B flat two times, back to the F two times, C once, B flat once, F twice. Okay. So let me show you the left hand real quick. And you remember how we formed the left hand before? We took the same notes that made up the chord. Now I'm going to go two Fs lower. So this is F from the right hand. I'm going one F. I'm going two. So I'm getting down here pretty low. And what I'm actually doing is I'm playing the lowest F on the keyboard. All right? So now what's happening is we know we play the notes in the F chord. But if I do that, again, it sounds horrible. Right? So notes separately. And then we need our fourth note, so we do the same exact concept. We play the note, or uh, the white key, I should say, that's uh, one key higher than the last one that you hit in the chord. So in other words, it's going to be the same exact bass line you played for F before, except when we were doing it in C, you were playing it here, now we're going to be down here. Okay. So remember we do that four times, right? go to the B flat and again the same thing we play the notes that are in the chord plus the next white key higher okay so that's my B flat bass line okay then we go back to F and do that twice then we go to the C do that once flat once, F twice. And then we end it on the F. Okay? So our only new chord that we have is the B flat chord. Those three notes, B flat, D, and F. That's the only new chord because we played the F chord before in the key of C and we also played the C chord in the key of C. All right? So now let's do this. Let me just go ahead and play the blues all the way through, just real basic, and then we'll do the one that you heard me playing. So the real basic one is we're going to start with the F chord and the F bass line. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Just hit and hold the right hand. Remember, we do this four times. We go to the B flat twice. Okay, so what you can do is you can practice that a couple of times, and then now we're going to go ahead and we're going to play the first blues that we did in the key of C, except we're going to play it in the key of F this time. All right, you remember when we played uh, the first or the second style, and I should have told you that that's actually called a swing style because it's reminiscent of the old swing music from the big bands. But uh, when I played it in C, you remember my first chord was this, and I played a C inversion, right? So when I formed that inversion in C, what I did was I dropped the bottom note C and I put that on the top. So we still had the same three notes. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. So here's my F chord. I'm gonna play the first inversion. So I dropped the bottom note F and I put it up here on top. Okay, so it's still the same three notes in the F chord, except now it's A, C, and F. All right? And then when I play my B flat chord, it's right there. And when I play the C chord, then I just move it up there. Okay, so the only chord I'm playing an inversion on is the first one, the F chord. All right? So now, you remember the rhythm that we had was this. Here, and then we're hitting twice. And there, and then together here. 
Okay, so we're gonna do the same exact thing here. So it's the exact same blues, except it's just in a different key. All right. So let me just uh, play those three bass lines along with the chord rhythms on the right hand. So for the F again, it's this. I do it slowly. So we hit the left hand first. And we play together here. And then when we play the C in the left hand, we hit twice here. Right? And then the D is by itself. And then after that, we hit together here. And hit the left hand. Then the right hand. And then after that, the left hand. So one more time. Hit here, or left hand plays first. Then we hit on the A. Then we hit here twice. Hit the left hand. Then together here. Hit the A. Then the left, or then the right hand, I mean. Okay. When we play the B flat, we do the same thing. So hit together here. Oops, I mean the left hand first. So here, and then right here. Then twice here left hand and the right hand are both hands together left hand and the right hand okay let me do that one more time left hand first okay now you remember when we go up to the five chord or in this case the c chord we only have one bar of the C, and then we got to go to the B flat for one bar. So what we have to do is we have to split that rhythm between the two bars. So we start off on the C, same rhythm here. And then we go to the B flat in the left hand, and then the B flat in the right hand at the same time. And the left hand, and the right hand, and the left hand, okay, and then we're back to the F. So let me go ahead and play that. I'll play it at a slow tempo. If you want, you can try playing it with me. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four. B flat. So let's do that uh, one time at close to the original speed. And if you're not able to do it yet, don't worry about it. Um, you know, you'll eventually uh, get to this speed once you work up to it. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. B flat. So that's our swing style. So next up, we'll do uh, the rock and roll style. We'll do both takes where we have the straight eighth notes and then where we have the, uh, the set where the first eighth note is longer than the second. So we'll do both of those. All right, so let's do the rock and roll style. And um, again, we'll just keep the first inversion on that F chord. Left hand, remember... We're gonna play each note two times, and we'll do it both ways. So let me just go ahead, and uh, if you want, you can go ahead and play it with me. Let me do it at a slower tempo. I think what I'll do is I'll do the first way where it's just real short, choppy, okay? So here we go, one, two, three, four. B 
rychle. So you remember with that one, I'm playing both hands together. And remember, the right hand is short, so it's not going to be like, not that. So hands moving together like a puppet. Okay. Let's just keep playing it since we started it. One more F to the B flat. To the F. Up to the C. B flat. F. Okay. And you remember the second way that we did it was where we were playing the first chord long, short for the second one. So it's like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, and let me do this one one more time at a faster tempo. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. B flat. rock and roll blues and the key of F, uh, both variations. So now let's do this. Let's go to the popular music style, and we'll do this uh, both ways, too, um, where the first way we were playing it in four, and then the second way uh, thinking about it in terms of eight beats per measure or per bar. So you remember the rhythm was this. And in your right hand, this time it does stay down. So left hand first, and the right hand, and the left hand. And these two are faster, remember that? Okay, so we're going to do that rhythm all the way throughout. So let's go ahead. I think you should probably be okay with the B flat and the C uh, chords uh, and the bass lines for now. So let's just go ahead and play this one all the way through. So one, two, Three, four. B flat. F. To C. So that's our popular music style. Let me do that one more time. 
I'll do it just a little bit faster. All right. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. And then you remember uh, after that we did it in eight where I was doing this one two three four five six seven eight remember that and again when you're playing it you know the chords that many times in your right hand try not to tense up your right hand like this just relax your fingers and pull with your forearm and let your forearm do all the work keep your hand very relaxed okay that way it won't tense up again if you feel any sort of tension when you're playing it this way then stop and uh, do something else and, you know, maybe come back and try it later. All right. So let me play it. You remember we were doing this. It was one, two, three, four. We played right there on four. And then this was seven and eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Remember that? So anyway, let's go ahead. Let's just play this one all the way through. So um, I'll count a little bit slower. All right. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let me do that uh, one more time. I'll do it a little bit faster. And again, I can't stress enough that you want to keep that right hand as relaxed as you possibly can. All right. So let me do it a little bit faster. And uh, then that will wrap it up for our popular music style. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I forgot to tell you to come back to F, but the thing that's nice with the blues is you can actually hear when it's time to make the change, all right? So uh, one of the things that's really nice with this is you get a lot of practice with your ears and getting used to hearing when it's time to change chords and, you know, what chord uh, you're going to be playing when it is time to make that change, all right? So anyway, that concludes our three styles, the swing style, the rock style, and the popular music styles in the key of F, all right? So now what I want to do in the next section is I want to um, teach you how to play an F blues scale. All right, let's learn the blues scale. Now, you remember when we played our F major scale, these are the notes that we use. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, right? So you remember the blues scale, 
uses six notes, so it's not going to play all of those notes. So we start with the one, and then we're going to play the flat three. So if you're into the numbers, the regular third is here. We flat it, we play that, all right? If you're not into the numbers, just go from F to the A flat to the B flat. All right, let's just start with those three. After we play those three notes, we're going to play the B. Okay? If you're into the numbers, the B would be the sharp four. All right? Or in the case of the software that I have, <laughs> the software, actually the software just states uh, B, so that's correct. But it would be the sharp four in the key of uh, F. If you are familiar with the numbers, then that's what, that's what it is. If you're not familiar with the numbers, don't worry about it. All right? So our first four notes, F, A flat, B flat, B. And then it goes up to C. Okay, there's that sound again. After that, we have one more note. And that's going to be the E flat. And then it goes back to the one. All right. So the whole scale is this. I'll come back down. Okay. Now, one of the things I should mention, too, is that when you're playing single notes like this, you can play anywhere. What I mean by that is you can play down here. If you want to play it up here, you can do that. You can play it anywhere on the keyboard that you want, and it will sound great. So now, let me do this. I'm going to actually, instead of playing it here, I'm going to play it an octave higher. And I'm coming down, all right? Uh, by the way, if you're interested in that, what I actually did there is I came down two octaves. Okay, so from here to here is one octave. Then I continued down. So I ended up playing it two octaves lower, okay? Just if you wanted to know what I was doing. So now let me go ahead and play. I think what I'll do is I'll play another. Maybe I'll play that same one I did in the... Uh, the key of C. If I do that, let me come down here. I'll start down here. So here's what it sounds like. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that was that same song that I played in uh, the key of C. Now, you know what I'm actually going to do? Let me play it again, but this time, instead of starting here, I'm going to start up here. And then I'm going to play low down here again. So this way, you'll get a little bit of a, a different sound. And I'm doing this because, you know, I'm kind of giving or putting the idea in your head that you can kind of experiment a little bit and try things in different places on your keyboard just to change it up and to keep things interesting. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> So that's going to wrap things up for this program. I hope you have enjoyed everything. It's been a lot of fun putting things together. So I want to mention uh, one more time that I do have a four-week online course, which will be the next step from here. And it's called How to Sound Good Playing or Learning Piano from the Start. And in this uh, program, it's about 30 videos, and it's spread out over four weeks. It's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that way you can do it on your own time, you know, whenever you want. You know, the videos are always there. So uh, we get into a bunch of different things. We'll do some blues things like we did. 
you know, in these four lessons. Uh, we'll do some more transposing, so we'll play things in a few keys. And uh, I actually have a numbering system that I will teach you. And with the numbering system, we'll use that to apply to melodies and chords and things like that, which makes life a whole lot easier, and it makes it easier to learn songs. So anyway, on that note, like I said, I hope you have enjoyed everything. It's been a lot of fun putting it together. And as I usually say, keep having fun and keep practicing.